Hello, today I'm going to do practice strokes with doing some seasonal holly, some greenery, and this will be part one and part two. We'll come back next week with some berries and how to accent and add some treasure gold to those. All right. So I'm going to use multi-surface folk art multi-surface paint. It's got a sealer in it. It's wonderful. I'm going to be using my brushes. My signature brushes are the ones that are lavender. They're just a better quality brush as far as the ferrule, the bristles, and the handles. And I've been demonstrating with those quite a bit. So with different ways for you to look those up, go back and look at your weekly um, practices, which I give you homework to work with. And that's where that is. These are also my green handle brushes or my value pack brushes. They're very good, good brushes. All right. So I have pro brushes and I have good. So good, better, best. All right. I want you to think about that when you're using brushes. All right. So now when I get my paint where I want it and I put the colors next to each other that I'm going to use a lot, then I tap it. So it spreads it out. It's almost going to flow over. And I have floating medium in the middle. So floating medium is the fluff that's inside paint with no pigment in it. All right. And so we have two. And this is the old label. Two ounce bottles of that same floating medium all the way up to two ounce and eight ounce. OK, and that's all one stroke dot com. All right. I'm going to use um, these flat brushes to get started. and I'm just going to share a couple of ways to make on the scrapbooking paper to make some holly. And so holly sometimes is very hard for people. And so I am going to wet my 16 flat and water and dry it off. Now, what I want you to see, let me show you this again. So we go into water. Let's see, let me move over. There we are. I lay it on the paper towel and get the excess excess water out, okay? Now, this is what we're going to do with the double loader. We're going to come right between here. Now, I want not half and half. I want one-third sap and two-thirds citrus, okay? So I'm going to pick up paint, and then I'm going to work it in. So I the sap went over too much, so I can come back and get some more citrus, pushing go back here, pushing the sap over to the side. All right, now I split the brush here. I don't split the brush here. All right, I can add a little bit of medium. That's what's inside the paint without color, okay? Now this is what I wanna show you. I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna bring this down and over so you can see the edge of my brush, all right? So I'm gonna take and do, like an arrow so you can see, all right? Because this is where I'm going to start. I'm going to start right here, all right? So I'm going to go up, point. So when I make a point, I come down with pressure, point. Pressure makes it go right here, point, point, and to the top, to the tip. All right, now then I turn it. I turn it so it's easier to get to it, all right? So I'm going to come right here. Let's get a little bit more sap green. I'm going to go here to the point, pressure, point, pressure, point, point, and there. Now this, these are a little bit longer. See, I took the chisel at the end. You see me do the chisel? All right. There we go. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of other ways to do this. All right. Now, one way I used to teach this a lot is I would go right here and let's do a railroad track. All right. So then watch this. I would start here and go to there, but it's easier to go right like this. Okay. So you can go and get more paint. You can go one, two, pressure, lift, pressure, lift, pressure to the tip. All right. And until you feel comfortable, this is a way that you can get started. But on this side, I was sharing with you, it's easier to come to there. So 
to there to there and because we're heading towards the tip as we do that okay and you can clean this up in the middle a little bit by going over just a little bit more and then pull a stem practice each way and see what's comfortable for you this right here instead of the starting here and going to there it's easier to start with this okay and then do your little all right now what i want to share with you is there is a, a little bit easier way to do this to start with and it still looks good okay we're going to come right here work it in get the sap and the citrus again all right and i can also pick up a little bit of white in the citrus to lighten it see i just come over here and dip oh i come over here and dip all right now what there's a couple different ways you can do it one is if we're right here and we have the arrow we would start here and we would push and slide way down. Right here, push and slide all the way to the tip. And then we pull a stem in, okay? So I would turn this brush, let me show you right here. I could turn this brush so it's the citrus on the outside, depending on what your background is and the citrus on the outside. Now, when I do this, I make my poinsettia leaves or petals that same movement, smooth. So if I'm doing this, sometimes I'll do smooth poinsettia, these for leaves, and they're really um, stand out really well. All right, so this would be your first option. So when you're first learning, it could go that this is number one. Okay, now I'm gonna show you number two. And ultimately you're working to get to number three, but it depends on what looks that you want. You might be really happy like with this next option. All right, so I'm gonna come back here. I keep picking up paint, working it in, and then I'm ready. And if I need a little teeny bit of medium, you don't need much because this is very smooth. I can also come over here and pick up some yellow. All right, and get a whole different look. All right, so I'm gonna go here again and here's where I'm headed. So I can go right here, push down slightly and I can do a wave. And I did this, I do this a lot guys, uh, instead of all points, points really are how holly looks but i can go for an illusion kind of like that all right and this what what your job is as you're learning the stroke is to watch me do this re-watch re this as i'm doing it so that you can see um the movement i'm making okay so i'm going to start here i halfway i'm half sprung I'm not up here on the chisel. I'm not squishing it. I'm halfway, half sprung. Okay, and it's just a little bit of a wave. Now look what happens here. I can come here and get some white, work this in. Okay, I'm gonna show you how that looks. A little bit of a wave. But I'm going to show you one more real quick thing before we leave today. This is your homework. Practice. Show us on our Facebook group, Donna Dewberry's official one-stroke group. Okay. And we love to share what you're learning and see how you're progressing. It's fun. And we are very encouraging over there. Okay. So I'm going to dip a little bit of apple red little bit of apple red okay so now look what happens here i can i can come right here and do a little this i want to show you what's right and wrong here okay i'm going to come right here i'm going to go to a point to a point 
not a round, but a point. Okay, I'm gonna smooth this out in the middle. Okay, but I want you to see that this is not a point. So I gotta make sure I make it a nice point. And then I can pull a stem right in the middle. All right, so that looks kind of muddy in the middle. So let me get a little bit more sap. And we're going to come right here and get a little bit of red. This is apple red. Okay, now that's really strong. So I wipe off just a little bit of that. And just have a little bit of pink. And what you could do also is we can come right in here. and have the pink on one side. I mean, the green on the inside and one side and not on the other. So I just want you to play with it and see what looks good to you and see yourself grow. So you start number one here, number two, then go over and try this. But I wanted to show you the more difficult one first and show you that if we put three dots there, we have a holly leaf. All right. So I'll see you next week. And until then, practice and share. <laughs> okay. And we'll be doing berries in part two.